tucked inside a worn manila envelope are old pictures and newspaper clippings Jerry Damon has kept for nearly 55 years since his son disappeared. Stephen Damon was just two months shy of his third birthday when he was kidnapped, and his father has never stopped wondering what happened. It's always in the back of your mind somewhere, and even though it has been a long time. Damon says his son's disappearance got a lot of media attention at the time, but despite all their efforts, police never solved the case. There were leads, but of course, none of them were the right one. We just didn't uh, come up with an answer. There is now new hope that Damon may get some of those answers, but the sudden media attention surrounding the story of a Michigan man who believes he may be the missing son is overwhelming, and Damon is careful not to let himself get caught up in that possibility. You kind of want to be cautious. In the, in the past, have learned not to get their hopes too high. But if it turns out this man, John Barnes, could be Damon's son, it would mean some much-needed answers for the family. It would be nice to have some closure on it and uh, find out what happened, maybe, really.